Hey folks, Watson here from Watson's Reviews. I'm excited to say I've officially switched my default browser to Opera. And in this video, you're gonna see why. So let's go ahead and check it out right about now. Today we're talking about a tool you use every single day, maybe even every single waking hour of the day. I'm talking about your web browser. And today we're diving deep into the browser that has completely changed how I interact with the web. And I'm talking about Opera. This isn't the Opera you remember from maybe 15 years ago. This is a complete modular AI powered overhaul. And after using it for the last few weeks, I take it simple. Go download this browser right now, or maybe after the video. After a quick and easy install, the first thing you'll notice about the newest Opera is the design. And it's built around modularity. Most browsers are just a frame for tabs. Opera is a digital hub. Look over here at the sidebar. This, genius. We've got a dedicated panel for WhatsApp, Telegram, even Spotify, my favorite. So no more tabbing back and forth, losing focus, or jumping to external apps. You can do social stuff, communication, and music all running seamlessly right alongside your browsing window in the background, so it's not taking up space. The real game changer for serious multitaskers are the workspaces and tab islands. Workspaces let you organize your tabs into completely separate environments. Let's say, for example, cooking and shopping. It's like having different browser windows open, but without the clutter or the RAM usage. And you can even give your workspaces custom names and icons. And from there, you just toggle easily between them from the sidebar like this. Super easy. And then tab islands. You can actually group related tabs together using Aria, the AI assistant. And we'll get more into that in just a minute. But it's also very easy to group them together yourself. For example, you can hold control and click all the tabs that you want to group together, then right click and go create tab island. It's that easy. Then you can easily expand or collapse the islands like this and even preview them by hovering over the collapsed island like this. It's intuitive, it's clean, and it fundamentally solves the 100 open tabs problem. It's gonna slow down your day and your computer. So if you like multitasking or have to multitask, this feature alone justifies a switch in my opinion. Once you get used to it, you're not gonna wanna go back to anything else. Next up, let's meet Aria, the free AI system. So let's talk about the future, because Opera seems to be building it right now. The browser includes a powerful, free, built-in AI tool named Aria. It's not just a gimmick, it's seamlessly integrated into the browser itself. So think of it as a super-powered assistant or sidekick. You can open Aria with a quick shortcut. In Windows, it's Control slash or Command slash on Apple, and there's no switching tabs involved. And speaking of tabs, you can just use the tab key to switch between the three modes. The main mode, the page context mode, and the writing mode. So say you've got a dense 10 page technical document, just bring up Aria, ask it to summarize the key takeaways, and boom, you've got bullet points in seconds. Need to write an email based on the web page you're looking at? Go to the writing tab and ask Aria to draft a professional response. It actually understands context, has live access to the web, and it can even generate images for you using text prompts, all for free and without needing to sign up for a dozen different external AI services. Very convenient. Another cool image related feature is Aria's image recognition. You can select any picture off the web or your computer and then ask Aria contextual questions like, is this a picture of a real moon? And Aria will not only find answers, but also give you more resources so you can learn more. Awesome. You can ask contextual questions about an image and Aria will give you answers. But here is the most Watson approved feature, the AI tab commands. You can literally summon Aria and tell it, group all my Amazon tabs. And Aria will create an island for those specific tabs. Or close every tab that hasn't been active in an hour. Which is great for me because I tend to forget to close inactive tabs. And one more quick note on tabs, there's also a function called tab traces, where the underscore on a tab changes color based on how recently the page was visited. For example, this NASA tab is from about an hour ago. These are from yesterday. And these three here are from quite recently. So you're not just browsing anymore, you're taking control of the web. And really this is what browser technology should feel like in 2025. All right, let's get down to the foundation here, the meat and potatoes. I'm talking speed and security. So we've all downloaded shady, sketchy browser extensions. Ones that say promise to block ads, but secretly track everything you do. Opera solves this with features just built right in the core of the browser. So you've got the built-in ad blocker and tracker blocker. Don't need any extensions. 
You just flip a switch and suddenly pages are loading up to 90% faster. Why is this? Because the browser isn't wasting time downloading massive banner ads, pop-ups, or those invisible trackers that slow down your connection and hog bandwidth. It even blocks those annoying crypto mining scripts that hijack your CPU. So it runs cleaner and thus faster and it respects your attention. But the real showstopper, one that surprised me and makes Opera stand head and shoulders above the competition, is the free, unlimited, built-in VPN. Yeah, that's right, a free unlimited no-log VPN, or more accurately, an encrypted proxy service. This is included. So with a single click in the address bar, your IP address is cloaked. This is crucial for privacy, especially if you use public Wi-Fi. You don't need to pay 10 bucks a month for a separate service or install questionable third-party add-ons. Opera is the only major browser offering this level of privacy protection baked right into the free experience. That's a huge win for you guys and me, the users. So if it works nice, it might as well look nice too, right? And with Opera's themes, you're not just changing colors. You can customize the entire look and feel of your browser with animated backgrounds, unique sounds, and full UI customization. So go hog wild and make it yours. I think my favorite one is Aurora. It's soothing and helps me focus. But it's fun to play around, experiment, and find something that works for you. So beyond these big headline features, Opera's also perfected some little things that make a difference in your everyday use. For one, I'm talking about split screen view, which lets you view two tabs side by side in a single window. So if you're comparison shopping or note taking, this makes it effortless. And I mentioned Spotify earlier, so if you're like me, you probably enjoy listening to music or podcasts while you're working or just browsing the web. So I used to keep a few tabs open for that, but honestly, that feels kind of outdated now. With Opera, I've got all my favorite services right in the sidebar. And I can switch between them whenever I want. What's even cooler than that is you can actually detach the player into a little floating window and then move it around your screen, even outside the browser. And now you can just change songs or pause the music without interrupting whatever else you're doing. And in the case of Spotify, it's kind of gotten a little obnoxious with its recommendations and ads when all you really want is just play, pause, and the other basic functions. So this is great. So from the built-in media player there to the battery saver mode for laptops, Opera's obsessed with making your time online smarter, faster, and less irritating. So to sum up, I just have a question. Why are you still on the default browser that came with your computer? To switch to Opera, you're not just getting a change of scenery, you're getting a free integrated AI tool to summarize and organize and do all kinds of stuff, a free unlimited VPN and ad blocker for true privacy and extra speed, a modular hub with workspaces, tab islands, and the sidebar of apps that will boost your productivity. So I gotta say, this is the most feature-rich, innovative, and user-centric browser I've ever come across, period. It really caught me off guard that it's not just catching up to the competition, it's actually surpassing them. And your browser experience should feel fast, powerful, and secure. It should feel like the future, which this does. So if you're ready to ditch the digital clutter, take control of your web, get organized, there's only one thing left to do. Download the Opera browser today. Well, there you go, folks. I'm loving those AI features, the tab islands, the side-by-side, -side, the themes, all good stuff. So go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below, and we'll see you next time on Watson's Reviews. Watson out.